My name is Mark Clickman. It is my pleasure to share with you the Edward Birnbaum Collection of Jewish Music found in the Clow Library of Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is the largest collection of Jewish liturgical music. Edward Birnbaum was a cantor in Europe who was in Konigsberg from 1880 to 1920 and studied with prominent cantors. He inherited this collection from Hirsch Weintraub. This collection is extraordinary. It contains over 1,200 manuscripts, 700 printed books, and tens of thousands of archival documents. In the 1970s, an extraordinary project revealed that upon investigating all Hebrew notated manuscripts prior to 1840, that 129 of these manuscripts are in the Edward Birnbaum collection and 57 are in the Offenbach collection housed at Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion in New York. Combining both of these collections gives Hebrew Union College 80% of all known Jewish Hebrew notated manuscripts documenting European Jewish music. This provides a very unique window into the early modern Jewish synagogues in terms of what they actually sang in the synagogue. The remainder of this presentation will look at various manuscripts in this collection and you'll hear some of this music. Our first manuscript is by Aaron Beer, which dates to 1790 to 1791. As you can see, this manuscript, as pictured in the brown bound volume on the right, is the size of 5.7 inches by 4.5 inches. This is roughly the size of a 4 by 6 photograph. Within it, there are 453 melodies that this cantor sang for that given year. You can see the fine precision and detail that's given in this particular manuscript for every specific note. The first melody we'll hear comes from the Hallel prayer. The text that's given is Anna, but the text itself is not given. Here a lyric soprano is going to sing this melody. It'll begin in the middle of the first line, singing it on A. Ah. You can certainly hear the influence of Mozart and his lyric opera style in this music. Certainly the Jews were attracted to the sound and wanted to incorporate it into the synagogue. The next example we'll hear is from the same manuscript in a Kaddish prayer for the holiday of Passover. We'll hear a very familiar Haggadah melody of Adir Hu, again sung to the Kaddish by a cantorial student. As before, you can hear the sounds of the world around them coming into the synagogue. We're now going to move on to the work of one particular composer named Israel Lovi. He was born in Eastern Europe, but gradually moved westward until he eventually became a cantor of a synagogue in Paris. In the Edward Birnbaum collection, we have 96 examples of his music in various manuscripts. Interestingly, while he traveled in the direction as notated in this map in red, his manuscripts appear north of where he traveled, in Amsterdam, Germany, Koblenz, and other locations as well. His music was very popular and clearly traveled, and he was well known. This next example is one in which you will hear an example of early choral music. It is the Hodu for Shavuot, 
And this choral music is known as Mishorim, with a cantor, a boy soprano, followed by a male bass. This begins with an allegro, and the second movement is an adagio, followed by this allegro 6-8 next movement, which sounds like a minuet. This very much seems to follow the pattern found in a Mozart and Haydn sonata. Again, the secular style is very much influencing the music. Here is the Meshorim style of the Hodu Fushavuot by Israel Lovely, performed by cantorial students at Hebrew Union College. <laughs> This example clearly shows the very unique musical possibilities that cantors were exploring in the early 19th century. Our last example is going to be taken from the Offenbach Collection at Hebrew Union College in New York. Jacques Offenbach, the famous composer, his father, Isaac Offenbach, was a cantor in Cologne. In this Vishamru example, you'll hear his unique cantorial style. This rare collection of Jewish music covers 150 years of the changes to synagogue music. Purchased by Hebrew Union College in 1922, two years after Edward Birnbaum died, this collection was the focus of study 80 years ago, but has not been studied in recent decades. We are working on a new project to digi digitally archive this music to make it available to scholars and musicians. For more information, please contact me at mkligman at huc.edu. Thank you. <laughs>